Sometimes the time just slips away And you're left with this today Left with the memory Good morning. My name is Mark Rosenkern. It is my pleasure and privilege to serve as the chairman of the National Transportation Board. I'd like to take a moment to introduce my colleagues and fellow board members. On my right, the vice chairman, Robert Sumwalt. My immediate left, member Debbie Herzman. My far right, member Kitty Higgins. And my far left, member Steve Chilander. I'd also like to take a moment to recognize uh, that there are members of the family who uh, lost loved ones, both of these accidents, and our thoughts and our prayers, our hearts go out to you. We are back in session, and I would ask uh, Mr. Pyan to um, do his next presentation dealing with technology. Yes, sir. Thank you. Technology can provide additional protection for wayside workers, especially in, an, in a work environment in which a lapse of attention can quickly result in serious injury or death. In June 2006, the Federal Transit Administration provided funding to a manufacturer for early alarm system technology to automatically alert wayside workers of approaching trains, to alert train operators when they are approaching wayside work areas, and to detect train overspeed if the train operator does not respond appropriately to work zone notification. This early warning alarm technology is now available from the manufacturer. An available, ver an available version mounted in the cab of the train provides alerts to the train operator and the wayside worker. The system provides train operators with an audible and a visual when they are approaching wayside workers who are near and are wearing a personal warning device. The system also alerts wayside workers wearing a personal warning device that a train is approaching. Pilot projects have been tested on several transit properties. Massachusetts Bay Transportation Authority and Maryland Transit Administration are, install are installing this early alarm equipment system-wide. Staff has proposed a recommendation to WMATA to address this issue in the, re in the draft report. Staff is prepared to provide a brief demonstration of one example of this technology if the board would like at the, at the appropriate time. That concludes my presentation. We can answer questions if, staff, if uh, the board members like. Very good. And Vice Chairman, do you have any questions on the technology? Uh, no questions. I think, uh, I think that this is very good. Uh, people are, as M Member Chilander said, humans are going to continue mistakes. People are going to occasionally step into the fountain, and this is just yet one additional layer that's going to keep that error from becoming consequential. So uh, I, I strongly support this recommend, um, our, the proposed recommendation. Thank you. Uh, before we go into uh, some other questions, do you have an, an example of this technology? I think it'd be important for us to see it and maybe have it demonstrated briefly here. Yes, sir. We, we have a the technology that's going into the, the, in, uh, the MBTA. This is actually some of the equipment that's going in. Why don't you bring it up and, and share it with the members? Mr. Reminds is going to take up the, the personal warning device. Okay. While he does that, on the desk here is what's mounted in the train cab. Okay. This is the, the, the unit that's actually the train operator warns him about it. And the, the units you are getting right now are the ones that are that the wayside workers would wear. Now, you might want to. Everybody might want to mute their their microphones. Uh, there's going to be a siren when, once I activate it here. But basically, this this is the warning that the track walker gets. The unit in front of you is is the portable one, be used in conjunction or by itself. And uh, once the train gets close, I'll I'll activate it here. This is the warning that that uh, the wayside workers will get. That's the audible warning that the wayside workers get. They get a visual and an audible. 
And that's this is just one unit that the the one that the MBTA is installing. Would like uh, to note for the board that uh, we think this is this is an example of of technology that one company is developing and that FTA is urging helping to fund uh, uh, this type of technology so you have a safety redundant. It's, it's technology that uh, some transit systems, uh, as Ruben said, are, are beginning to install. I think uh, you know there's others that still have questions, want to be sure that in fact it, it's going to, uh, this particular technology is going to work as advertised. But we, we certainly think this is the direction that we need to go. Uh, another phase of this type of technology, the, the second phase, would be that not only having the warning in the cab so that the uh, train operator also knows this is the location of the crew where they are, but would be similar to a positive train control type system. I mean, but in that if the train operator fails to take an action to slow the train, that then the brakes would automatically be applied so that if you don't slow the train soon enough, and which is the next phase. That's another well. phase. Is that is that um, something which is being contemplated by Metro right now? or it, uh, th don't? This is this is technology that uh, that FTA is pushing forward and that, 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 that the manufacturers are already looking at to uh, develop that second phase. Okay, so, so what it, let, let's be clear about what this is. This, is. this device would be issued to the wayside workers Yes, sir. They would wear it on their shoulder. They'd wear it on their belt. They'd wear it somewhere where they could um, see the see the lights go on and also hear the hear the uh, the audible tone. Yes. This device down here is that carried out by the crew onto the site? Yes. And where is that placed? That's put. It could be the place by the lookout or near near where the work area is done, in conjunction with or by itself with the personal devices. Okay. And then one more time, there is a device as you were showing right there. Now, hold it up again. That is mounted in the cab of the uh, of the car, the operator's area, so that they too would be alert to a wayside worker yes. in the area. Yes. And what kind of distance does it begin to show? The distance it'll start to warn depends on the property. They 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 state the requirements. It's uh, I saw a demonstration of this for half a mile on a high-speed Amtrak train. So it's good for, for half a half mile at least. Okay, very good. Uh, Member Hersman. Thank you. I appreciate the presentation and the demonstration. I guess, and I don't want to sound like I'm being glib about this, but um, given all the noise that's going on down in the tunnels and all of the uh, train noise and everything else, do these workers have any hearing protection? They, they provide it. They're not required. Um, at the Pond Circle that they were not wearing. How about in uh, Eisenhower? No, the track markers were not. I mean, between the horns blowing and the trains coming by and potentially devices like this, I think there's going to be um, per perhaps a necessary trade-off between uh, preserving your hearing and and your life, um, which I don't think is a great a great trade-off, but I just raised that in that if you hear that going off all day, uh, that's that's pretty loud. 